Hey guys, hope you're all good. Duncan Shaw here, and on today's video, I'm gonna run through three trial stunts and tricks that'll help you when you're out riding the trails. First of all, we're gonna kick things off with one of my favorite tricks. For those of you who know me, I love doing manuals. Just gonna kick things off with that, and then we're gonna lead on to then using that technique to get yourself up and over certain obstacles that will help you when you're out riding your mountain bike. So to kick things off, we're gonna look at the manual which for those of you who do know me, is a stunt that I absolutely love to do. A common mistake that most people can do, and rather than trying to pull your handlebars up to your body, it's all about tipping your whole body back as a unit and keeping your arms just about stretched out and just move your whole body back in the bike to get that front wheel up, because otherwise you're just gonna basically pull your wheel up and then it's not gonna be sustainable, it'll just go straight back down. On the mountain bike, it's all about getting your weight down and back and you're having your whole of your lower end over the back wheel and behind the seat. The next logical step is to try and keep that front wheel up. And that's all about just basically playing around with the balance point, seeing what's too low, because your front wheel then just come back down. And then if you are being bold, you can actually try and push it too far but get a feel for being able to push that too far and being able to almost jump off the back or use your back brake to take it back down. It's really one that's worth persevering with because whilst you might not be wanting to pull a big, long, massive manual, being able to just confidently lift your front wheel up without using your pedal strokes, especially when you're going fast, to lift it up onto rocks, onto logs, or any little bump you might find in the trail will make such a difference. It's a really good way of being able to do things confidently without having to slow down too much and losing any of your speed or momentum. So now you've mastered getting your front wheel up in the air, we can then apply that technique to getting up and onto obstacles that you might find in the trails. You can use pretty much anything for this, whether that be a little rock in your garden or even a curb outside your house. We're gonna use that manual technique that we've already learned to get the front wheel up just as you approach the obstacle. And with a mixture of unweighting your back wheel and levering your weight forward onto your front wheel, you're then just gonna lift that back wheel up to get yourself on top of the obstacle. For this technique, it's all about timing. It takes a little bit of getting used to. That's what I recommend when you're first learning it, just to try a pretty manageable pace, a sort of fast walking pace. Lift your front wheel up onto the pallet and just as your sort of pedals are coming in line with the edge, you then get your weight forward on your front wheel as well as curling back and up on your pedals to get the back wheel up onto the obstacle as well before riding off. If you are struggling to get your front wheel up onto the obstacle with just your body weight alone, one thing you can do to make it a little bit easier is use a little bit of a pedal stroke and you'll essentially wheelie up that first bit. It works pretty much just as well. You just won't be able to do it on the trails with just quite as much speed, but it's a good way of getting your sort of feel for the trek and actually learning the technique. Last but not least is the front bump technique. I use this pretty much on a daily basis when I'm out riding the trails and it allows me to get up and over rocks and logs without losing too much speed or momentum. For this trick, you basically come in at whatever speed you're comfortable with and you use your front wheel to hit off the front edge of the obstacle, whether it's a log or a rock. And what that does, it gives you the upward and onward momentum to get you, your whole bike, including your back wheel, up and over the obstacle. You don't necessarily need to clear it, it's all about just getting your bike high enough so you can roll over it and not get caught onto it. So it's all about being really aggressive because the faster you hit that thing and the harder you hit your front wheel in, the more upward trajectory it's gonna give you. It is a little bit scary at first, especially with a flat edged object like this, but when you're learning it, it's good to try it on say a log that's got a nice round edge. It just gives you a little bit more of a margin for error and it's more likely to give you that upward bump that you need. So there you have it. That was three trials techniques to help you out in the trails. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and we'll catch you guys next time.